Hi, my name is Erica Tang, and I'm going to show you how to make a ringtone using iTunes 10. There are many benefits to creating your own ringtone on iTunes. One of them is that you don't have to pay for your ringtone. To start making your own ringtone, find a song in your iTunes and right-click in order to view the drop-down list of options. You can see here that I'm searching for a song. For the purposes of this video, we'll use Hanging by a Moment by Lifehouse. Once you've selected a song and brought up the drop-down menu, select Get Info from the drop-down menu. A new window will come up. Once you've brought up the new window, click the Options tab. Under the Options tab, change the start and finish times for the song to the desired time for your audio clip. Remember that iTunes doesn't allow you to make ringtones more than 30 seconds long. Make sure you listen to the song a few times in order to determine where you want your audio clip to start and to end. Once you've chosen the desired start and finish times for your song, right-click on the song again and click Create AAC Version from the drop-down menu. iTunes will take a second to convert the song. Now that you have your new AAC version of this song, you need to find or create a folder in which to store your ringtone. I would create a separate folder for all the ringtones you plan on making in the future. Once you have this folder, move the AAC version of your song from your iTunes to your folder. Once you've moved your file to the new folder, right-click on the file to bring up the drop-down menu and select Rename. You need to rename your file from .m4a to .m4r. On the window that pops up, make sure you click Yes. The file will not become unusable in this case. Once you have properly renamed your ringtone, move your audio clip back into your iTunes. You need to move the clip into the Tones section of your iTunes because this is how iTunes will recognize your ringtone. Simply click and drag to move the file back into your iTunes. Here I've highlighted for you the new ringtone. Now the only steps left are cleanup. Go back to the Music section under your iTunes and find the AAC version of your song. This will be the clip with only 30 seconds playtime. Delete this version of the song. This will not delete your original song or affect your new ringtone in any way. The final step is extremely important. Remember to go back to your original song and bring up the Get Info window again. Under the Options tab, make sure you reset the times to the original song times. Otherwise, every time you play your song, it will start and end at the times you selected for your audio clip. You can reset them easily simply by unchecking the boxes beside the times. Here you can see that I unchecked the boxes and going back, the song has been reset to the original times. Thank you for watching and enjoy your ringtone.